Okay, hello everyone and welcome to today's YouTube video and welcome to Germois YouTube channel. I'm Eve Kasha and I'm here today to introduce to you everything about collagen and collagen drinks. I have an MSc in pharmaceutical formulation, so I love hearing about innovative science and the absolute best of skincare. So I'm really lucky today that we have Augustina, our special guest here. Hello. <laughs> she's going to join us from Skin Age, and she's been with the company for seven and a half years. So she knows everything there is to know. She's been with the company from the beginning. So I'm just going to ask her a few questions and we might as well get started. What is collagen and what does it do in our skin and what happens to collagen as we age? Now, collagen is actually the most abundant structural protein in your body and is found everywhere in your body. It's not just only in the skin. So collagen is actually produced naturally in your body from when you're born. Your body will produce constantly new fresh collagen. Your body is growing, so your body will continuously um, produce fresh collagen. So when you're young, you have really healthy skin, very plump skin, and uh, very high, it looks hydrated and looks you know, really strong. As we get um, older, and you, you know, this will change. So your body will keep on producing collagen until your mid-20s. And after that, it pretty much stops. And this, this is not even the sad point. After your mid-20s, your body will start losing collagen. So we will actually start losing between one and one and a half percent collagen every year for the rest of our lives. And wow. this is for everybody. So um, actually for women is even worse because once you get to menopausal, when you get into menopause, we lose up to about 30% of collagen in a very few years. And after postmenopause, the three, one to one and a half percent can actually go up to three, four percent loss of collagen. So that's why there's massive um, you know, changes in the skin as well. So you know, to maintain these, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the levels of collagen in your body is absolutely crucial. And that's what everybody is trying to do. No matter whether you're a skin specialist, you're a dermatologist, you're a skin doctor, everybody's trying to keep the body producing fresh collagen and, and elastin, obviously. But this is, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really important factor. It is for this, for everybody's the same. So after mm -hmm. your mid-20s, your body stops producing collagen and you start losing it. Another very important thing, after this point, your mm -hmm. body will only, only produce fresh collagen to repair. To oh. actually, um, so you need to have an injury or a trauma, um, so you, and that's why a lot of um, the treatments that you do in the clinics are uh, there are um, injury. They are kind of traumatizing your skin. Is it is a controlled trauma? But you're traumatizing your skin. Like my, you know, it could be microneedling, could be a PRP, even could be more invasive treatment. But also uh, IPL, and lasers, mm -hmm. um, radio frequency. All they're doing is you're, you're kind of you know, traumatizing your skin in order, in order to produce fresh collagen and mass. So your body will only produce the fresh collagen to repair. Okay, so if you're losing collagen in your skin, what happens to your skin as you age? Like, do you think there's a link between the loss of collagen and wrinkles that people are seeing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and I tell people, you know, remember your skin is what you see. One of the first thing you see is like a dull skin, but also you start, um, you know, losing the supplements, losing the hydration. And this is, comes into, you know, it starts forming your first lines, wrinkles, but even, you know, the, the, the whole plumpness and suppleness of the skin. So it's really, really important. Again, I'll, I'll say that again, to keep this, the, these levels high, up in order to, you know, to keep this, um, um, you know, to, to keep healthy skin, but also to keep younger looking skin. Okay, so what can we do to help it? What can we do to boost collagen without trauma? 
the most important thing is to understand is the body cannot absorb collagen. Okay, this is one of the issues, at the, especially at the very beginning, and still now a little bit less now, but at the very beginning to convince doctor and, and the medical professionals that, you know, this is actually stimulates your collagen. No, no, you can't absorb collagen. You know, the collagen drinks don't work, which is in a way kind of true because collagen is a very, very large molecule. Okay, so the body will never be able to absorb it in its own uh, state so what we do is with with the skin aid we break down this this collagen we break down this this big structure and what we do is we only use a tiny tiny parts of of, of this structure called peptides okay uh -huh. remember this what the peptides are are part of the collagen yes but what they do the the, the job of the peptides is to send signaling to send messages so this is um we break it down and it, these peptides are really a fragment of what the collagen um what the collagen was part of the collagen but what what they do is this even if when we dismantle the whole structure we break it down and we keep these separate peptides these peptides always keep the same characteristics so even if they're not part of collagen anymore they're still messengers okay so this is a very very important part so as we break it down we use the smallest molecular uh, weight uh, peptides in the market and this facilitates the absorption once these peptides get absorbed into your bloodstream they actually go into your blood they go into your dermis and when they reach the dermis what they do is they kind of trick your body to think that there is an injury or a trauma so these peptides what they do is they initiate a feedback response okay entering when they when they, uh, they get into into your dermis they send messages to your fibroblasts so they get any feedback response generating creating a wound healing response which is the only way you get your body to produce fresh collagen and elastin so they're kind of tricking your body yeah that's so fascinating and it's crazy that you can have the technology to produce in order to make this is the bottle a bottle of skin aid it takes 12 hours 12 hours of constant constant mixing all the ingredients are added at the separate you know different times at different temperatures mm -hmm. but all the ingredients are broken down which means they are ready for the body to use so you actually start absorbing sublingually when you put it in your mouth but also when you reach the stomach before the digestion starts it will go straight into your bloodstream because it is an isotonic drink so it actually bypasses the first metabolism of your digestion so 90 to 95 percent of the ingredients in skin aid will reach your bloodstream before digestion something that you can never ever ever reach with any powders tablets capsules remember these are the even even when you have the powder most of the powders when you put them together in a, in a glass you mix mm -hmm. it you still have a compound what we call it, a compound suspended in the solution the molecule is still big the molecule needs to be broken down in the stomach and that's what the acid in the stomach do and then comes out in the stomach and, and it gets absorbed in the in the in the small intestine whiskey mm -hmm. all these are broken down so all the ingredients are ready for the body to use. So this is, is, is crucial. It's, so this is a very, the bioavailability, which is the absorption, mm -hmm. is crucial. In order for you to see any results, exactly, because otherwise yeah. there's no point. And also another very important thing is, I always tell people, it's not, these are, you know, there are peptides in them, these collagen peptides, which are very, very important. But also mm -hmm. remember, um, the peptides on their own will never give you this anti-aging effect we're looking for. So here we actually get, we put six active ingredients in skin aid. And this feed, you know, this, um, this feedback response, these wound healing responses on top, this is very, very important. But at the bottom, we say in order for, to support all these, we have all the other ingredients, including vitamin C, Another mm -hmm. thing, we don't put ascorbic acid in there. We put another form of vitamin C, which is in the form of a crystal, which is a more, much more gentle to the stomach, but also more, um, um, uh, the absorption is much better. And it's called calcium ascorbate. Mm -hmm. Then we have omega-3 and 6 from organic flaxseed. We don't use fish oils. Another reason we don't use fish oils is, is because um, 
Um, generally speaking, if you have oily skin, if you if you suffer from breakouts, uh, fish oils are not recommended. So we use organic flaxseed, which are very important anti-inflammatory effect, but also they regulate your sebum, they regulate your oils in your skin. Um, another um, important ingredient here are the vitamin Bs. I call them the magic Bs. There are eight vitamin Bs here. The one, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, and 12. Eight mm -hmm. vitamin Bs. And uh, they work together. They work synergistically together. But the vitamin Bs are so, so important for so many things within your body and your skin itself. Skin function, brain function, uh, stress levels, moods. They help you, the energy and, and metabolism, um, the production of um, uh, red blood cells, but also um, they, they, they push oxygen into your, into your cells as well, especially the, the vitamin B3, which is a niacinamide. Niacinamide is amazing. It's, it really is fantastic. The, people are talking a lot more about uh, niacinamide as well. Because what it does is internally, it pushes the oxygen into your cells, into your peripheral part, into your dermis, into the capillaries as well. And by doing so, when it pushes the oxygen, it brings nutrients to the skin, gets mm -hmm. the skin and the skin and the, and the cells and allows the cells to really get rid of waste materials and, and toxins. So mm -hmm. what we do is with the niacinamide, we harness the capability in order to deliver all the ingredients in skin aid into every single part of your, of your skin and your body and your skin. That's then amazing. we have a two, more, two more ingredients here. One is MSM, which mm -hmm. is amazing. It's an, it's an anti-inflammatory. MSM is an organic sulfur found in every living organism, but also is an amazing, amazing healer, an amazing anti-inflammatory, and also helps joints as well. It's very, um, very often used for joints, uh, problems and issues and inflammation, but also helps the, the, the collagen structure as well. It strengthens the collagen structure, because the collagen structure is like a, a trialical structure like this. Mm -hmm. And as we get older, it's made of fibrils. As we get older, these, these fibrils start cross-linking, so the, the whole structure eventually flattens up and it dies. So this structure is kept together by sulfur bridges. Okay, so these sulfur, these organic sulfur, MSM, methyl sulfur and methane, gets absorbed into the body and deposits itself in the collagen structure, protecting the collagen itself. And the last one is uh, L-liacin, which is an amino acid, is an essential amino acid that the body doesn't produce. This is an important, very important for your immune system because it actually is an antiviral as well. Is is a building block of the protein, so very important for the production of the, of the collagen cell, the production and synthesis of collagen. I call it the bricks of the collagen. Mm -hmm. And and also the um, L-liacin works together with your antioxidants in your body, your B vitamins, but also your vitamin C in order to, um, to rebalance the ceramides, which are the lipids in your skin, which are very often disrupted because um, of, especially with the skin conditions. So this is, these are really are all the ingredients in skin aid. They are very important Then there's nothing obscure in there. I remember one of the very, very very important thing here is the absorption. So we know that the way the skin aid is formulated is actually has the, 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 the high bioavailability, the high, the high absorption that allows all these ingredients to actually reach a blood stain. Surely everyone can use it then because all skin types, no matter what age or what condition, would really benefit from skin aid. Absolutely. I mean, obviously it's licensed for adults. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's um, for everybody, for all yeah. skin type, men and women. And people sometimes think it's only women, but we have lots of men. We have lots and lots of men. Yeah. And actually, talking about men, I have a lot of doctors whose parents drink a lot of skin aid because they say, oh, they feel better, they feel more energetic, they feel, you know, the joints feel better. They, that just gives them a, a big boost as well. So, yes, absolutely. Men and women are all, um, all skin type. And remember, you know, when I, when I, when earlier on, when I said your body stops producing collagen in mid-20s, it's not just, you know, uh, dark skin or light skin, it's for everybody. everybody. Okay, yeah. and you take it 
every single day, but you still use all your normal treatments and all your regular moisturizers and cleansers. Absolutely. We, I always tell people, remember, we are not taking anything away. But it, you need to have healthy skin inside in order to get the best results of your skincare and the best mm -hmm. results of your treatments. So it's not that we are taking them away, we are putting them together. And with SkinAid, you are helping the results. And, is, and I've seen it so many times when you're looking in the skin after, you know, people take skin aid for 30 days and you look at the difference and say, look, if you have to do, you know, no matter what treatment it could be, a, you know, a radio frequency treatment could be an injectable, whatever it is. But if you start after seeing the results of 30 days of skin aid, you, you realize that you get much better results. You get, and also, also remember, it helps get keeping those results for much longer. So giving long lasting results as well. First of all, what kind of results would people expect to see? And when would you start seeing those results? So after 30 days, maybe? We always, always recommend 30 days as minimum. Mm -hmm. Optimum results is 90 days. When you're supplementing, when you're taking some, something internally, give it in 90 days. You need two or three skin renewals, keratin production and so on. So to give it you know, the, the proper results, um, do it for 90 days. Sometimes people like the, the beginning don't want to start with 90 days. So I say, okay, start with 30. 30 is the minimum. Mm -hmm. Some people might get results earlier, depending, there are so many factors that will determine your outcome. Obviously, your age, your genes, Genes as well. They are, you know, lifestyle, whether you smoke, you drink, you have alcohol, you know, there are so many um, um, factors. In mm -hmm. skin aid, when you stimulate your body to start producing collagen, when you, when you get in this wound healing response, automatically you stimulate your production of hyaluronic acid as well. So one of the first things that people notice is actually hydration. So hydration comes also the plumpness, softness of the skin, diminishing on the fine lines and wrinkles. And then people also, you know, have better hair, stronger nails. But generally speaking, on the skin is hydration and diminishing on fine lines and wrinkles. And just giving a radiance to the skin, just giving a nice, um, brightness yeah it just sometimes people said oh you look as if you've been on holiday you know it just gives a nice so um, it depends on, on the person but generally speaking the more dehydrated the more damaged the skin is the more dramatic is the response okay so what i will say is when you're ordering skin aid from dermois it comes in a box but there are two forms so as you mentioned before, the pre-mixed bottle that you take once a day, every day, you don't need to change it, but there's also the travel sachet. Yeah. And you mix these ones with water. But either now, one- this is, this is very important. Guys, yeah. please, please remember to take, to put this in a glass of water. Is um, some people sometimes are, oh, I didn't read it. It does say at the back, of the but sometimes people don't bother reading. The one, it doesn't taste very nice. It's a concentrated form, remember? It takes 12 hours to make a bottle. It takes over 24 hours to make a sachet. So we, when we make this, the, the, the whole solution, one part goes into the bottle, another part goes into a, into a system when we take the water out. So this is a concentrated form. You will never have a squash without water, right? This yeah. is the same. And this one, it doesn't taste nice because it's concentrated, but one of the most important thing, if you take it neat, you're actually diminishing the absorption. It's an isotonic drink, so you need the presence of water in order to, um, to um, increase the absorption. So this is very, very important. Otherwise, there's no difference in between the two. It's only a preference. Please make sure that you drink it slowly, have some food, and just be gentle. Once you get used to it, then you can drink it however you like. But just be gentle at the very beginning. And, and avoid caffeine. So coffee or tea, mm -hmm. um, keep it in 45 minutes to an hour away from coffee and tea because the caffeine um, inhibits the vitamin C, which is very important one for so many things around the body, but also for the production of collagen. Without the vitamin C, you won't get the stimulation of these fibroblasts and these cells to produce collagen. So yeah, take it in the morning, but some people 
take it in the afternoon after lunch. The only thing is because the, the, the B vitamins help you with your metabolism, they give you energy. Some people are very sensitive to the to the uh, vitamin B. So, so if you take it in the evening, they might not be able to sleep or they feel energetic and so on. So that's why we recommend in in the morning. But some people are okay. I mean, I can drink in the evening. It will not affect me more. But we're all different. So that's what we recommend. Hey, that's perfect. Thank you so much for joining our video today. I hope that everybody watching learned something new, learned about collagen and learned what to look for in collagen supplements and why not all of them are effective. It comes down to the science and the nutrition. On that note, Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me today. And um, yes, all the best. If you have any more questions, I'm always here. Mm -hmm.